after the show, when I did go online, there had to be 50,000 responses. There was one, however, she asked me if I wanted to be friends, and you know, when I saw her face, I was like, I love you already, and immediately wanted to marry her. Well, it sounds like this guy has some pure motives for the girl. Ugh, look at his face. He kind of looks like Dwayne Johnson if he got an extra layer of white and then aged 20 years. It sounds like he's been on Dr. Phil before. Like, bro, have you not seen all the people that get scammed on this show? I, I think you might need to rethink your romance. He saw a girl online and was like, I gotta marry her. I, I don't know about y'all, but I think he might have a few issues to work out. Just a couple. What's crackalackin' everybody? It's your boy Thundros, and I hope your day is going great, cause uh, I think I found you guys the epitome of the phrase, if they could go lower than 18, they would. So here's our story, apparently this guy saw a fresh new adult online and was like, you know what, uh, I really need to marry her. Now I don't know about you guys, but when I was 18, I didn't know jack sh if my parents decided to throw me out at that age, I would have been a Twitter hashtag in a week. I really don't understand this guy's line of thinking. I mean, I'm not even 30, but I would feel weird swiping right on anyone too young to drink. So to find out that grandpa here wants to get his geriatric digits on an 18 year old kind of makes me want to lose my lunch. But kick back and relax and let's see how low grandpa's willing to go. One of the most beautiful women I've ever laid eyes on. Somebody who is built to be a mother. George is well, you know, amp, you know, built well. So we're not even 20 seconds into this and the guy is already sounding like a person you meet on Hanson versus Predator? Like who's out here looking at girls' bodies thinking, damn, she built for birthing? Probably not somebody that would be good for women. If this guy had a Twitter account, he'd already be canceled. She certainly had that Italian Latino look, so she reminded me of me, my favorite person. Oh, so he basically wants to f himself. I mean, probably not a great quality in a man, pretty sure there's a word for it, and I think women are told to avoid those, but there's toxic masculinity and then there's whatever this is, and somehow this feels radioactive. I can tell you it's at least making me sick. I'm like, God, if I was to pray for a woman and have my dream girl, how old would she be? I'm like, well, just start at 18 and move up. And she was right at 18. Uh, yeah, no, if there wasn't a legal age, you know this man would be playing limbo. Like, you can already hear him mentally chanting, how low can you go? Apparently the limit for this guy is wherever a cop will stop you. During our course of texting, I kind of told her from the beginning, ultimately on your birthday, I'm gonna wanna marry you. If you read the first two lines of this guy's message, this boomer is being a real groomer. And by the way this guy is talking about her, she's not even 18 yet. I wish we could preemptively lock this man up. He clearly does not have good intentions. Hell, we could turn Dr. Phil's entire show into a sting operation. It's not like he's doing anything important these days. She was more thoughtful in her words. She would just kind of say, I care about you. And I was happy to get one of those. Knowing my birthday is December 18th, Georgia knew I was come to Tampa to propose to her. And if she isn't running away in terror, you know she just really wants some money. It's really hard for me to tell who's using who in this situation. And don't get me wrong, the guy deserves this, he's an absolute creep. But can we agree that if she's just doing it for the money, they deserve each other, even if we're, you know, kind of rooting for the girl more? Who knows, maybe she's doing it to him because he's such a predator. And in which case, you go girl. My feeling Georgia would probably say no, to my proposal was at least I would get to meet her. I had never met her in person. You know, his attachment issues might actually be sad if, you know, he, he wasn't trying to do this with an 18 year old. I want to feel bad for him. My brain's like, you need to pity this man. But I'm like, no, no, I, I will not. The inability to connect with people his own age doesn't make him less of a predator. If he really can't control himself around young girls, I don't think Facebook is for him. But of course, I get to Tampa and it's my birthday. Halfway through the day, she gave me some COVID excuse like, Everybody's in quarantine in my house. Are you telling me people might lie on the internet? Oh man, who would have thunk that? Seriously, Dr. Phil, you are not doing anything important. You get a new old person getting scammed every week. And I'm all for public shaming creeps that are trying to marry what are essentially children. But buddy, how long are you gonna keep going back to this well? Coming from the guy that's made like a million Kitchen Nightmare videos, it's time to get some new material. So then I waited till the moment, the time of my birth, 9.14 p.m. and I texted her. I love you, will you marry me? She texted back, I, I might even be making a mistake saying no, but I have to say no right now because I want to get to know you better. And I forget sometimes that she's only 18. Yeah, no, I don't believe that you're forgetting that she's 18. I'm like 90, 95% sure that's the only reason you're really attracted to her. Also, holy shit, the age gap. I thought the Kardashian Davidson couple was kind of weird, but damn, dude. Clearly her cheeks aren't the only thing you're trying to keep wide. So that all made sense. I do think Georgia's using me because after about a week or two of talking to Georgia, she let me know that she wanted to be a model. And I'm like, Georgia, 
you know, when it comes to modeling, I want you to be like God's model, you know, like a model wife. This guy's ideologies are so dated, archaeologists are finding fossils of it. I want you to be a God model wife. Please tell me old men are not showing up to churches with 18 year old girls. I need to believe the world has some general set standard. Like a model mother. Don't model on a fuzzy carpet half naked. That's not modeling, that's just whoring yourself out. And what's wrong with that? I'll tell you right now, absolutely nothing. If a girl goes out and hooks up with a bunch of guys, she's a slut. If a guy does the same thing, he gets a high five. You're lucky she's even talking to you, bro. You should just let her show off whatever she wants to. Let her feel empowered. If she's not hurting anyone and it makes her happy, what the f do you care? So I said, Georgia, I'll help you any way I can. I mean, but you've got to do it God's way, my way, or the proverbial highway. Yeah, you need to become a model God's way. Also, this guy way. Something tells me she's gonna be modeling underwear and it's not gonna be for the camera. Look, I don't care if you have religion, but if you're gonna try to push it on someone, can it be somewhere not work-related? She's just there for a paycheck. She doesn't want to learn how to accept the Jesus into her heart. Does anyone think this guy has ever been married? Cause, uh, I I'm just gonna go ahead and assume no. So I did send Georgia a basic agreement. I said, keep everything between us in confidence. She goes and tells her mother. Hmm, where have we heard this line before? I said, keep everything between us in confidence. Yeah, people of 61 year old man is offering you a modeling career don't you dare tell your parents i feel like this dude's gonna pull up in a white van and uh try to get his lollipop sucked you know he's gonna say I i'm a good guy i wasn't gonna make her do anything she didn't want to do you already breached the agreement you said her mother had all this legal bureaucratic whatever. I'm like, well, don't sign it. Was he also telling her not to read it herself? I really want to know what exactly was in this agreement he didn't want her mother to see. Like, was this a marriage contract? Was this guy trying to pull off a Jeff Sokol? Forget it. I must have had, I don't know, at least 10 ideas for Georgia. Or 10 gigs, if you want to call them that, lined up. 10 opportunities. I gave her countless work. First off, this says that she's not even going to be in front of the camera. Second, I, I doubt this is the only thing you're going to have her uh, assisting on. Dude's now getting caught in 4K, and he's like, listen, listen, I had a lot of opportunities for this young lady. Bro, you already proposed to her, and she said no. I feel like that's when you should have just gave up. Or better yet, never tried at all. The world would be a better place. Modeling, acting, video, sports different levels of sports, nothing, did nothing. Never have I met anybody who did less than Georgia when it came to wanting to work. And now he's just going full boomer. We gave you unreasonable demands and questionable ideas and you're just saying, no, I don't want to work. Like how dare you, Georgia, you lazy sack of crap. You know he was probably a lot meaner about it, but damn, he's really out here trying to call her out on Dr. Phil. And I am not here to promote her being promiscuous or showing off to a bunch of gangsters and thugs and acting all ghetto using bad language and rejecting me and rejecting the God I serve. Holy religious power trip. He's really walking up the street going, she better respect me and the God I serve. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have to respect anything. I mean, she rejected your proposal and, uh, you know, even meeting you. I'm not gonna pretend I'm a hardcore feminist, but you better start respecting women, bro. This is the guy who after middle school is still making the joke, you know what's funny? Women's rights. Except judging by the way he talks, he actually kind of believes that. I I only want to work with Georgia if she loves God and she loves me. If she doesn't do that, I do not want to work with Georgia. If she wants to be my wife or my mother to my children, I will work with her. You know, there's that old joke about some people only getting jobs in Hollywood because they boink the producer, and this guy's just trying to kick it up to a hundred. Except this girl's gonna have to do him for the rest of her life. I mean, I guess she's not the only one getting on her knees for this dream, you know, unless he proposes over text again. But this guy's getting so heated for no reason. Like one second, he's like, oh man, I'm gonna love this girl forever. And then he's like, she will respect my God. Like, dude, I need you to calm the calamity that is your 61 year old memories. It's a thought online, dude. I guarantee there's a million of them. God bless you. I love you both. I love all of you. God bless you. I especially love you, sir. Thank you very much. And ladies, God bless you. I love you both. Kelly, I haven't met you, but I love you. This woman's face says, damn, you think I'm a bread roll? You could just butter up? Like, hell nah, you're trying to take my daughter. And I wouldn't be thanking Dr. Phil, dude. You're kind of being exposed here. Getting caught in 4K with everything but the white van. If you see this guy coming up the street, you better lock up your daughters unless you want them uh, modeling for this man. So you asked this young lady to marry you without ever meeting her? Absolutely. On my birthday, uh, to marry on her birthday. Do you, th you think that's odd? Nope. I, you know what? If it's odd, then it's God. If it's odd, it's God. You know what? I, I agree with that. As a person that works in customer service, the weirdest customers I have are usually religious. I didn't see myself agreeing with the groomer in any way, shape, or form, but uh, you might want to patent that phrase, man. That's the way I think of it, okay? Well, that rhymes, but it doesn't make sense. Well, it does to God. Uh. You want every, every husband should have a wife. I mean, you do. She doesn't have a pee, pee therefore she needs a husband. That is some smooth brain logic this guy has got going on. I'm willing to bet in his mind it only applies to the uh, beautiful girls. Like, I'm pretty sure Mama June is single right now, dude. She needs a husband. You better get over there.
You know what I learned about you, Dr. Murray? Last time I was here, you told me you've been married, what, 45 years? Uh Uh-huh. Mrs. McGraw married you when you were essentially maybe a nothing. So it's clear that Dr. Phil is already exasperated with this guy, but like, I I can't see what kind of point he's trying to make here. Honestly, I'm just finding it wholesome that she was into him before he was worth $460 million. And now you're something. I may not be something, but I'm definitely not a nothing. And I know you wouldn't be here today unless you had a godly wife and and a couple of sons helping you along the way. And that's all I'm asking for in my life. And that person just has to be this freshly 18-year-old girl. Seriously, the guy can't just settle for someone in their 50s? There are some nice MILFs out there. Like, I think he's really limiting himself. Why is he so fixated on a girl he saw on Facebook? Bro needs to go dip in senior swimming and get on OurTime.com. Is anyone else thinking that there's no way this is the only young girl he's ever obsessed about? Dude probably has a DM list of quote-unquote models that he slides in on the daily. But this is where I'm gonna start wrapping up the video, mostly because I've run out of clip. As much as I love making fun of this guy, I hope you guys found some enjoyment, you know, when your skin wasn't crawling. And if you want to join me in prayer later that this guy gets arrested feel free to hit me up but uh try not to do anything too stupid please keep yourself safe and until next time this is thundro signing off